Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can take Silver, uh, SQL Server or full database backup using Windows PowerShell commandlets. So before we proceed that I would uh, request you guys to go ahead and please subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to get all the notifications. Please select all options while hitting on the bell icon to get updates regarding all of my future videos. Now let's come back to a topic. So we want to take SQL Server full database backup using Windows PowerShell. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So let's see if we can uh, open up Windows PowerShell here. So let's type in PowerShell over here and right click on the PowerShell and run it as administrator and do yes. So this will open up Windows PowerShell here and let's go inside uh, SQL Server um, Windows PowerShell is not opened correctly so I will uh, reopen it again and for now let's go to SQL Server Management Studio we will take the database backup of TestDB the full database backup so let's open Windows PowerShell once again so type in Windows PowerShell Acting a little weird, so let me type Windows PowerShell. Right click on it and run it as administrator. And do yes. This will open up Windows PowerShell window. So now it's ready. So uh, let me tell you about the command which you need to type uh, in order to take full database backup. So just type uh, backup SQL database. and along with that you need to specify the server instance option and you need to put quotes and uh, specify the name of the server uh, you can get the name of the server by going to the properties of the SQL server here and uh, you can copy the server name from here and if you just specify the server name it takes the default instance uh, so let me close that and uh, if, you're, if you have a named instance then you need to put a slash after the server name and uh, provide the instance name and after this option you need to specify the another option which is database you need to specify the name of the database for which you want to take backup so I'm taking backup of test TV database and uh, next you need to specify the backup of action which specify uh, that you are taking uh, if you just specify the database keyword it specifies that you are taking the full backup of the test TV database so you just need to press enter after that press enter and it will take the backup so backup is complete and it takes the backup in the default location which is C program files Microsoft SQL Server the your instance and MS SQL folder and the backup folder it takes the backup so and let me refresh it so it has just taken backup at 4 p.m. Uh, right now the clock time is 4 p.m. and it has taken the backup of the test TV database so this is how you can take uh, backup using the Windows uh, PowerShell commandlets I'm exiting out of it and I think we are done for this video and guys I hope you like this video please share this video with your friends uh, and do hit on the like button if you really like this video and please subscribe to my channel and for any future updates I thank you once again so much for your time and your wonderful day ahead thank you bye bye